Hello, my name is Dr. Carla Stanton. I'm a family and functional medicine doctor, and I'm here with a kidney coach just collecting some stories, some testimonies from some of our clients. And um, I've been having a wonderful chat here to Mike. Um, he's had an amazing experience in just three months of um, implementing the uh, kidney coach program, going from stage four to stage three. And um, quite a long history in terms of your health. I mean, you, you're 79 and you are a, a retired um, publisher, artist, um, a manager of media companies. And so been a really active life. And from the age of 19, you even uh, you had Crohn's disease, which um, affected your health. You had to have a large segment of your bowel removed sort of 30 years or so later, which has uh, always left you with um, needing to use the bathroom quite frequently. And you also have had quite a few autoimmune diseases in your life that you shared with me. Uh, and also a family history of, um, of diabetes, of, of heart failure. Um, but it's been, you know, in spite of that Crohn's, in spite, in spite of that autoimmune disease, been really active life. And um, just sort of 25 years ago, you shared that you had high blood pressure, which had been pretty stable. Um, but I, I'll leave it there for you to kind of continue your journey as to everything was kind of going fine in terms of your kidney health and, and your general health, really, until sort of just sort of three to six months ago. So I'll hand it over to you, Mike, to share your story from there. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so th that's correct. Uh, uh, I had gone to my primary care doctor pretty much every three months to have a blood pressure checked, although it was always high when I went to the doctor and I wound up buying my own machine to take my own blood pressure and bring the machine in. So not making these things up. These are the numbers every day. Mm -hmm. Not when I come here, you look at your white coat or whatever you're wearing, it you know, drives the numbers up, particularly the systolic number. The mm -hmm. diastolic number was always good, mm -hmm. never a problem. Okay. Now it's only lower. So I was been on medication for 25 years. Mm -hmm. and started out with one pill and they added others over the years. And finally, um, he said, let's, you should live a long time. This is under control. I want to keep it low. Let's add a third medicine, a water pill, mm -hmm. hydrochlorothiazide, 25 milligrams a day, mm -hmm. which is used to reduce water from your body and probably salt and theoretically reduce your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, and I said, well, I'm not crazy about it. I want to take more pills, but I agreed. Mm -hmm. some degree of skepticism mm -hmm. and uh, I said it's possible that it's going to affect my kidney because at one point I had taken lisinopril and hydrochlorothiazide was in lisinopril and it sent my creatinine numbers up right a long time ago and that doctor <laughs> took me off of that and just stayed on lisinopril mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. you want to redo it now I'm 20 years older and my kidneys are 20 years older and age in this case is not helping me mm -hmm. uh, because uh, prior scan shows there's some thinning of the walls of my kidneys and it's age-related degeneration. Mm -hmm. um, so I agreed to take it and we'll check it every three months and see what yeah. happens. And we did that and mm -hmm. I came in to him, it was either three or six months later, and I came in after I had gone for a run and had a couple of meals and not expecting to have any blood work done. And after we were all said and done, he says, fine, let's take some blood tests. Mm. He didn't object and he did it. And three days later, he called me at home. He said, your results are a disaster. Right. You better go see a kidney doctor. Mm. So this is when your EGFR was down to 28. So stage yes. four. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Okay, and that was just yes. three three months ago or so. Yes, yeah. Well, probably by the time he called me, it was close to November. Okay, okay. Let's put the timeline about right. Mm -hmm. And uh, it took me another almost six weeks. I see. Yeah. And I finally found the kidney doctor. And mm -hmm. She was the highest rated person I could find. They had a star rating system. She was almost a five-star doctor. And 
the bonus was she went to the same school that I did when the kids went to. Mm -hmm. And I know that to be a very good medical school, mm -hmm. excellent school. Mm -hmm. So I made an appointment, I went in to see her, and um, she wrote down everything and she took me immediately off the hydrochlorothiazide or the water mm -hmm. pill and yes, substituted yes. that pill for a beta blocker, mm -hmm. which uh, really slows your heart down. And I can testify to that. It's like a stop sign. Mm -hmm. I stopped it cold. I can't get that heart rate up even if I run a lot. Nothing changes. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, she then said, well, um, let's see what happens. Give it three months. Come back in three months and we'll redo all the blood work, all the urine tests, and we'll give you a, a renal scan, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which was, uh, which I say, fine, I'll see you in three months. Um, I took off in Florida mm -hmm. to go away from you know, cold weather in Utah for the winter, which I do every year. Mm -hmm. And um, went there and it was 75 to 85 every day. It was nice. And why am I going back? Because I had to go see the doctor. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, in the meantime, uh, after being diagnosed, and this was, I'd seen the doctor in December, and I said, well, okay, I'm going to start doing some research of my own, because that's what I do, that's what I, my background tells me to do. Yes. And it didn't take me long to come across, uh, I guess they call it the kidney solution or the kidney coach, is Duncan yeah. Luna, yeah. and it's involved buying a, a ebook and a whole program with a money back guarantee, and um, it's not expensive, and I said, well, I'll just get it, get the book, and start to read. Mm -hmm. It's right into my background. Um, and uh, that was about at the mid to end of December. Right. I just sat down and started pouring over this book. It mm -hmm. was so much information, and I had to reread it. I can't tell you how many times I've reread it. Yes. Because I get to a certain point, what did it say uh, 100 pages back? And uh, so I took away certain things from the book. It was very well done. Fantastic information about tests and scores and ranges and what kind of kidney disease you have and what you can take for each disease. And, mm -hmm. and, and here's a basic program. This is the basic place to get started. It involved taking uh, uh, tea, nettle leaf tea, drink yes. and uh, vitamin alpha lipoic acid, which I got R lipoic acid, and I got some vitamin C, and I got, uh, and then I read an article from Fiona, I got an email and said, wait a minute, the CoQ10 is important, you yeah. should be taking that, so I did that, and then she talked about Chittisan, and I thought, all right, I got that, and now I'm taking meals full of vitamins. Yes, yes, uh, and, you, and you said you changed your diet as well. Uh, radically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've never been overweight, but I did get an extra 10 pounds on me during when the pandemic was really bad. And everything was closed down. Mm -hmm. I stopped uh, working out, and, but I didn't stop eating. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I gained, you know, it was an all time high for me in weight. And I got on the scale. Whoa. See, I can't go on like this. is crazy. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. You got to change my. How did you find doing the diet, uh, changing your diet? Oh, well, I was, it couldn't, uh, they, in the, in the ebook, they said this is aim for an alkaline diet, mm. the pH scale, slightly alkaline, which to me said, well, uh, that would mean a plant-based diet. And yes. I looked at because of having the Crohn's kind of eat around food, always was told, well, just don't eat what makes you sick. Well, everything makes me sick. So yes. my diet was limited. Now I got to cut out everything. And, and according to them, uh, try to eat a plant-based diet. And I said, I don't think that's for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, really don't think it's for me. I don't think I can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I invented my own diet, which amounted to be low sugar, low carb diet. Mm -hmm. both. And it was taking all kinds of things out that I ate every day. Okay. Taking the sugars out and um... sugars and coffee and tea and ice cream and yogurt and milk and cheese and right. red meat and processed meat. And the list goes on and the bread, which is my main staple. Mm -hmm. um, 
at least reduce the amount of the yeah okay half of what it was eating. So you were doing that as well as you said that about a month into the program, you then started the chi uh, the chigenesis supplement as well. The um, I just realized I was missing the uh, herbal medicines, mm -hmm. and I, I looked at what I had to take, and I said, no, I can't buy all. The, I can't double again what I was taking mm -hmm. vitamins. So I bought the kidney prime, which was okay. the herbal medicines. It was two pills twice a day. It was easy to take. And I was on that for a month and on the vitamins for two months. And at that point, came back from Florida, came back for the blood tests, the urine tests, and the scans. Yes. And I nervously took those and said, boy, this could be the end of my life, as I know it, if things go any further south. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't know of any real solution medically. Uh, I realize now there is some, I see advertising on, C on TV for uh, CKD, uh, CDK, C C C C CD, uh, C CKD, and something called Farsiga, yeah. the advertising, as a, mm -hmm. as a medicine for uh, stage three, or whatever it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, that's new, and I relate that to back of my Crohn's history, and there was only one medicine to take, and I took it, but as time went on, they invented all the biological medicine. Yes, yes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. so I, I yeah. went on this diet and I immediately started to lose weight rapidly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And were you continuing to test your um, urine? I didn't test yeah, it, um, but uh, the doctor did. Mm -hmm. And as I said, two months into vitamins, kind of two months into diet change, one month into the herbals, mm. I went back for the retesting. Yes. And hopefully that I can turn this around and things will get better. And I didn't know, mm -hmm. um, but hopefully, thankfully it all turned out well. Yeah. All the numbers reversed themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Just everything. You said that, so your EGFR has gone up eight points to 36. Um, your ban has gone down from 43 to 34, and your creatinine has gone down as well from 2.4 to 1.78. So it's there, a really... was a there was a creatinine number on the test, or a urine creatinine number. Okay. I don't know okay. What the, it was 187. I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do, do you have the before and after results? No, we only have that number. Okay. All right. No worries. Okay. And so you also mentioned, so not only have your numbers got better, just in sort of three months of those those changes of the medication shift and doing these things and losing weight and uh, and adding in these changes to your life, um, which is amazing. Uh, but you also mentioned that um, for many years from the Crohn's, perhaps you suffered with GERD, or, you know, some reflux, and that actually your bowel function has changed as a result for the better. It totally reversed itself. Yeah. Six years of suffering. Mm. <laughs> from Crohn's disease, I'm back to when I was 18 years old. Mm, that's amazing. Almost 100 percent normal. The acid reflux, the GERD. I had a high anal hernia mm. diagnosed, slight one, gone. Trial mm. set, gone. All medication, gone. Everything normal. You don't take anything for it. You eat anything special. Gone like it never happened. Right. Blood glucose also dropped substantially. Mm, amazing. Yeah. And I was right. concerned about that because we had a history of, of mm. type 2 diabetes in my family. And oh. hopefully, as time goes on, I can get this down the number below 100. Absolutely. Be, A1C also went up in that period. And I think it will go back down. It should follow suit with all the other mm. numbers. They didn't okay. retest it. But I'm sure that's going to be down. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's wonderful. No, don't. Do keep, do keep at it and keep us posted. What might be some um, piece of advice that you might give to somebody who perhaps found out that they had a kidney challenge and maybe they're just looking to other options? Would you? I would say um, from the traditional medical um, treatments, there really aren't many. Mm. People just would sit around with uh, stage one. They just wait around stage two, three, four, go to five. In kidney failure and they're facing either dialysis or transplant and mm -hmm. if you even had a transplant good luck if that's going to work maybe half the time um, 
you can't sit around and do nothing mm. because the end result is not going to be good. I've seen it myself. I've seen it in my family. I've seen it in a friend. Um, uh, going down that route. So you have to be proactive. And there is another option. There's this solution. Mm. Um, the kidney coach, the kidney solution, signing onto the program, getting the ebook, reading it, rereading it, rereading the rereading, because it's too much material to digest one time through. You can't get all of it. There's no way. Mm. But take it from me, I spent my life with this stuff. Um, and I had to go through it four or five times mm. to really get a hold on it, but there's so much in there. Mm. Um, give you everything from where you are and why you have what you have and where you are in the scale of the kidney disease and uh, what you may be able to take for it, what you could do for exercise, what you can do for eating, meditation. It's all there, but it's up to you to sign on to the program, read it, you, uh, there's a guarantee, a 60-day guarantee. If you don't like it, if it doesn't work for you, write back and say, cancel it, you can get your money back. It's not a lot of money to start with, but at least that guarantee is out there. Uh, I always say, uh, what do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. Try it, if it doesn't work, yeah. cancel it, refund it. The only thing you have to lose is your life. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Try it, it works. But you got to take all the steps. You got to follow it. You got to do it religiously. Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. See results. Well, thank you for um, thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sticking sticking with it, making those big changes that you've made. Um, and as you say, you know, conventionally there's not a lot of active treatments until until it's quite end stage with dialysis etc and so um obviously it's good to support along with your healthcare practitioner but to have something that supports you and helps you, you know reverse um this kidney disease is amazing so thank you so much for um taking the time to share that and uh sticking with it and um i look forward to to hearing how how things continue um, but yeah, thank you so much for sharing your time and your well, story. The last thing that my uh, kidney doctor told me at the end of our last session, she said, you don't have to come back for six months. Oh. You're doing great. Everything's doing well. Everything's trending the right direction. Um, and we're standing there looking at a diagram of the kidneys mm. on the wall. And she said to me, um, well, I think your kidneys are going to outlast you. <laughs> That's what she said to me. I said, thank you and goodbye. And I'll see you in six months. <laughs> That's a good place to end. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for sharing. Okay, wonderful. Well, do keep us posted, Mike. And thank you so much for your time. Thank today. You. All right. Okay. Yeah. Bye now. Bye.